In this video, I'm going to show you how to align objects in Corel CAD. Now, for let's say my first objective is to align uh, this object here to to this object here, the top aligned, right? This top will be aligned to this top. So in Corel CAD, you can do it by using the align tool. So in the command line or command window, just type in align hit enter and when you hit enter it's it's asking for s specify entity so what object do you want to to align so I click on this and then I hit enter saying that that's the object that I want now it says here specify first point first source point so I'm going to click on this one it's like a base point so I click on this one and I want it aligned to this one here so since we are in e-tracking, I'm just going to look for a parallel line, which is this one here. And I click here and then hit enter. And now it's aligned already. So same as this one here. So say for the circle, I'm just going to have it there, a circle there. And let's say I'm going to align this one to the to the midpoint here midpoint here to the top align but it's in the midpoint here so I type in you can also type in AL short for align and then hit enter so it's the same thing specify entities I'll click on this one and then specify first source point so I'm going to look for the quadrant here and then like I said I want to align it to the midpoint here so I'm going to look for the midpoint, which is that one, and then I'm just going to wait for for it to have the intersecting line. Click, and then hit enter, and there you go. So that's aligned. Now let's go to a different kind of alignment here. Let's say my objective is this one here. These are two objects. I colored it in a different color so we can we can look it up look at it at different objects so now now in here uh, first maybe first let's I'll create a line from here and then here hit escape to end the command I just want to know what is the angle of this one here so in here you click on dimension and then uh, choose angular because it's where we want to know the angle so uh, specify entity so this one and then this one okay and then we'll see what the angle is that click now in here we know that our text is small you can go to properties properties and change the text size here for the dimension because we haven't set it initially that's why it's too small so I click on my dimension line and go to my property bar property tool or dialog box and I'm going to look for my text height. So my text height is go down here and down. So this is my text height here. I'll just make that one. Hit enter. And if you notice my my measurement here, the text here is already big. So it's 45 degrees. So it's 45 degrees. So in here, so we're going to close this one. We don't need that anymore. So here, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a 45 degree angle here aligned so that we can align this one to make it like this. Okay. So first I'm going to go to my polar settings here, polar snap, and I'm gonna add 45. But I did I did it earlier, so Make that 45 because we're going to make it snap to every 45 degrees. Click OK. So now I'm going to create my line. So I click on my line tool and go to this end point here. And obviously this one would snap because it's 90 degrees. But if I go closer to 45, see that one snaps. So I know that's 45 degrees. Because I just need a guide line, a line which is 45. Click on that and hit enter. So now I know that is 45 already. 
So now let's go to our align align tool here. So type in AL for align. Hit enter. Now it says specify entities. I'm going to choose all of this because that's the one that we wanted. Hit enter. And now it says you specify the first source point. So since I want it to be like this, so my my first one would be this endpoint here. Click. And then my first destination would be this endpoint here. Click. And then my second source point. I just choose any point here. I can also choose this one even. The endpoint here. And then second destination point anywhere in here actually anywhere it doesn't matter as long as it's in this line here maybe i'll just choose the endpoint here click and then hit enter now in the command window it's asking uh, do you want to scale scale entities you just say no type in n for no and hit enter there you go now you're you have aligned those two objects delete that's it